Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, my name is Khaled, and I'm an entrepreneur. And the reason I'm here today is to tell you how, and more importantly, why. Sorry, am I being heard? Yeah, and more importantly, why I joined Cambio Ventures. So I love being an entrepreneur. I love what I do. And um, it's very rewarding. It's challenging. It has a very steep learning curve. And it also comes with a lot of you know, ups and downs, naturally. And um, it's never apparent as much as when you finally realize that your business is viable and it's growing. And all of a sudden, you, know, you go from euphoria of realizing that your company is growing, and then you realize that you need to fund that growth. You need to raise money. And that euphoria quickly goes down and disintegrates into a mild form of anxiety. You know, you have very limited time. You have to update your uh, pitch deck. You have to update your uh, business plan and do all of these things. And, you know, you could be coming from Silicon Valley or anywhere else, but the journey and the challenges are pretty much the same. You have to, you know, reach out to investors. You have to uh, find the right ones and get in front of them at the right time. And there's a lot of different things that you need to do. And the problem with this is it stops growth. And it becomes a challenge for you to um, you know, proceed with what you want to do. It's very distracting. It's very time consuming. And we need the solution. And before you get into the solution, you have to really understand that the suffering is pretty universal. We all have pretty much the same journey. You know, you go in rounds, and each round is a manual and labor-intensive process, which I don't mind. But like I said from before, it's, it's time-consuming and it's distracting. So it's not so great for an other side of the table, too, for investors. I mean, these guys are getting locked up for five to 10 years with, you know, they're putting their faith in you, but at the end of the day, they need to make sure that they're putting the money in the right direction. And we need a new option. There needs to be a new way for us to find um, the way to facilitate our growth. And I'm sitting here in a room with experts from all different sorts of fields, and we're all looking for, or a lot of you, a lot of smart people are looking to find a solution to this problem. A lot of different offerings on the table. You find so many people who have different options, standards, protocols, platforms, etc. But at the same time, for someone like me, you're opening the news, and then one day you see, you know, someone getting arrested, or a company getting shut down, or you know, things being reversed, and it worries me as someone who might potentially be using this platform to raise money. And I'm pretty sure it's pretty alarming for other investors too. And you know, I'm not bad mouthing anyone else, but this really needs a solution. I get a phone call earlier this year. And um, I get a phone call from a person who's very dear to me. He's the first person who believed and invested in me back in 2007. And uh, he told me, you know what, we're starting something very exciting. I want you to speak to our CEO and see what you think. So to cut the long story short, I speak to the CEO and I was given a presentation much better than the one you're getting now. But um, in general, it, it convinced me. Uh, I was sold. And you know, I'm skeptical. I, you know, I'm, not, I'm familiar with the field. I know the, the challenges that are faced in this sector. But at the end of the day, my important three boxes were ticked. And these are, is it the right team? Do they have a good plan? And more importantly, would I use it? Would I buy it? And these are the three takeaway points that I took from that presentation and that meeting. And I joined them a few weeks later. So what does that team look like? You know, what are you looking for in a team, more importantly? For me, for someone like me, I'm looking for a team who has a track record and a history of building successful and sustainable businesses. I'm also looking for subject matter experts and people who are experts in this field. So if you look at the slide behind me, you'll notice that um, we have a very successful track record. We have people who have been starting and growing uh, small and medium enterprises for decades. They've had a lot of very successful stories, very successful exits. They've been in hundreds of rounds on both sides of the table. And we also have very deep banking experience. 
And for this sort of exercise, that is absolutely essential for you. And if I want to zoom in on specific financial experience that we're very interested in, it would be regulatory compliance. So it seems like we have a solid team. Uh, so what's the plan? And the plan at the heart of it is actually quite simple. We're building a platform that connects qualified investors with two types of capital markets, a primary and a secondary. And the primary capital market is where you find growth companies who are trying to raise capital, they would, post, they would have their applications posted there. And all of this, and then, you know, after a successful application, these, um, these tokens, after they're issued, will be traded on a secondary platform. But the interesting thing is, we're built on four key cornerstones. Our corporate advisory are subject matter experts that are responsible for onboarding these, uh, these growth companies and helping them complete this application. Think of them as also quality assurance for the investors reviewing these applications. Um, you know, making sure that all the verifiable information that's on this application is actually true. So giving confidence for these investors. We think that's really important. The other, of course, obvious um, cornerstone is a trading and investment venue, which is our exchange component over there. Earlier in the day, there was a, there was a, a, a panel talking about regulation. And um, I think his name was Esteban mentioned that for institutional money to come into this, we need to see regulations. And more importantly, we need to see a focus on custody. And we recognize that that it's actually a whole dedicated section for us where we insist on uh, having a fully regulated and compliant uh, custody. Think about it as an account management and custody platform for each member. Community, of course, being a social-based uh, social funding platform or a social-based exercise, the community development is actually very important for us. Um, our community platform will be responsible for um, communications between our different entities, which we'll be discussing in the next slide. It will also be critical for us to uh, share resources, share our knowledge with our people. We'll be posting our research in there, and it will also provide access to third-party services that we can talk about later. So, how are we going to actually roll this out? We have a community-based focus. So we're going to be rolling this out on a city-by-city -city basis. And we feel this is, the be this is the best strategy because we need to provide you know, on the ground, boots on the ground to help these uh, growth companies get onboarded onto the system. We need people to help recruit investors and get them on board. And um, we have to, to be regulated, you have to be deploying best practices. And the best way to do that is to do that at a personal level. So, obviously, I'm here in the World Blockchain Forum, so one of the key things uh, that we're using, or a key piece of technology, is, is the blockchain. We're using that to record the transactions, to do all our clearance and custody, and to hold the underlying digital assets. But, you know, I'm pretty much answered, or at least these ticked my boxes when it comes to the right team and the right plan. But the question is, would you buy this product, or would I buy this product? And to be honest, for me, that is a function of trust. I need to make sure that my money is safe. Both, I'm wearing both hats now, either as an investor or as a startup or as a growth company. I need to know that my money is safe. And the only really way to do that is to go for regulations, full regulatory compliance. And it is actually quite surprising for me that um, you know, looking back and seeing all of these different exchanges and platforms going on, um, it seems that regulation is an afterthought. And transparency and trust seems to come later after building the product. For us, we see this as a completely wrong way to approach things and build trust with our community. So we decided that we are going to seek full regulatory compliance from day one. We think that is a key point for us. And obviously, why do you want to regulate? Yes, we're using the blockchain, and the blockchain enables a lot of um, a lot of transparency and does establish a form of trust. However, we feel there's a lot of off-chain activities that need to be regulated and need to be transparent. And this is why we are doing that. I would like to think that all of the things I talked about just now 
are what differentiate us from what's out there today. A lot of smart people are trying to solve this problem. And yes, it's to some extent a technology problem, but it's not only a technology problem. It's not going to be solved by technology alone. And this is why we feel we're different. So we're building this platform to provide uh, a way for growth companies to tap into capital and also to provide a path for institutional and individual qualified investors to invest those, this money in those uh, growth companies, but also have the confidence that they would have liquidity later on and they have the flexibility to get in and out of it anytime later. So this is what we're trying to do, and this is what I signed up for, and hopefully that this is what we're going to achieve. We are now in the process of forming our strategic relationships. Um, we have, um, you know, I'd be very happy to discuss this after we've signed, but we have a lot of, um, uh, a lot of plans to get to market as soon as possible, and we're hoping to launch by mid of next year. Um, please, it's a very exciting project, and we would love for you to come see us downstairs at our booth. We'd love to answer any of your questions. And thank you very much for your time, and I appreciate it. Thank you.